Truth is, most dogs smell at some stage in their lives. However, there are particular breeds that have a more pungent doggy odor than others. Sometimes this can be due to the folds on their skin, the oils in their coats, or their big floppy ears. Or for some odd reason, they smell like corn chips. Looking at you hounds, let's check out 10 dog breeds that don't smell. You can just look at this little white cotton puff and say, I bet this dog doesn't stink. And you'd be right. Not only does the Bichon Frise not smell, but it also doesn't shed much at all. This friendly little white companion dog does need regular grooming to keep its long white hair from matting, or you can have a groomer keep it in a puppy cut for a more manageable coat. Either way, you can rest assured that doggy odor is not going to ruin doggy cuddle time. The Basenji is an interesting dog. Not only does it not smell, but it also doesn't bark. It's not to say that the Basenji isn't completely noiseless. In fact, this barkless dog is quite vocal. You can find other dogs that bark little in the link in the description. Basenjis groom themselves as cats do, so they don't have the typical doggy smell. Self-grooming isn't the Basenji's only cat-like quality though. They are independent, aloof, difficult to train, and typically bond only with one or two family members. The Basenji's short coat needs little care. It does, however, shed. Dachshunds. The easily identifiable wiener dogs are friendly little pooches with lively, big personalities. Doxies don't generally need to be bathed often, and are not prone to the doggy smell that many breeds develop over time. You can go months at a time without washing your wiener. If a dachshund smells unpleasant and for no clear reason, it is often a sign that something is amiss, and a vet visit may be necessary. Typical causes are ear problems, skin issues, and dental trauma. You won't find a ton of big dogs on this list. The Doberman is an exception. Dobermans are not known to be smelly dogs. Their short, slick coat means they don't suffer from strong odors like longer-coated dog breeds are known to. Dobermans are also one of the lowest maintenance breeds of dogs. They are very neat and remarkably clean dogs. Dobies lack the traditional doggy smell, even though they need baths only a few times a year. However, they shed throughout the year. The best way to keep loose hair at bay is to brush the dog once a week. Overbathing is often a cause of stinkiness in dogs because it can cause skin issues like dryness. If your dog is not actually dirty, it might not need a bath or just a gentle wipe down with a cleansing wipe. There's an Amazon affiliate link in the description where you can find some. The Bichon Frise's Cuban cousins are adorable, ultra-friendly, easily trained, hypoallergenic, and they don't even smell bad. Havanese have silky hair that doesn't produce a bad odor, assuming you take good care of it by brushing the dog's hair every day. Because the Havanese does not do a lot of drooling, there's none of the bad breath smell that some dogs give off. You can cuddle, kiss, and hug your Havanese all day long without ever smelling something foul or gross. Another of the Bichon's kin from the island of Malta is the Maltese. Like other dogs in this list, the Maltese are not prone to smell because they don't have deep skin folds and don't have excessive wax buildup. They are a great choice for anyone looking for a clean dog. If that's even a thing, because even the cutest dogs will do some disgusting things, but I digress. Besides being good for first time owners, they are easy to take care of because they don't shed much. If you let the coat grow long, you will need to comb it daily to avoid matting. But a lot of Maltese, Bichon, and Havanese owners are not willing to do that and get their dog a puppy cut, so it'd be even easier to take care of. The Shih Tzu is another of those dogs you just want to cuddle close. And generally speaking, you will have a stink-free experience. The friendly Shih Tzu is mostly low maintenance, although it will need regular brushing and grooming. One caveat is that the Shih Tzu tends to have trouble with her teeth, so regular brushing should become part of your routine. 
The wire coat of a West Highland White Terrier is short and coarse, keeping scent from being trapped in it. In addition to this, the grooming needed to keep the breed's hair and skin healthy adds to the protective factors that keep Westies from smelling. You only want to bathe your Westie every four to six weeks, at most. It's equally important to have your Westie regularly clipped every four to six weeks, so you may want to leave bathing up to the groomer. Italian Greyhounds just might be one of the best dogs for people who live in small spaces. They don't shed all that much, their grooming needs are almost zero, they can be quite lazy, and of course they don't have much of a doggy odor. However, like any dog, they do need bathing, their nails need to be kept short, and anal glands sometimes express, squeezed, or drain. Yes, that's about as unpleasant as it sounds. The good news is that your vet or groomer can do it. Unlike most dogs, poodles don't continually shed. This means they're a good match for a home where a member of the family is sensitive to dog hair. Besides not shedding, poodles are well known as clean dogs who lack the doggy smell of many other breeds. While a non-shedding and good smelling poodle is nice to your nose, their need for regular professional grooming every four to six weeks can become costly. If you want to wash your dog at home to keep costs down, I recommend ProPet Works All Natural Oatmeal Dog Shampoo. Oatmeal is good for your dog's skin and hair, and it will not rip your pet's natural skin protecting oils out. Speaking of not stinking, here are a few more videos that don't stink. Might as well smash that subscribe button for more. And as always, catch you next time.